Oh, he found me from the guild. Yes. Um, I know that Twitch is Latin guild. Um, you just added a whole bunch of new folks. So if you're new to the guild, welcome, welcome in. The Latin guild has been really fun to be a part of and getting to meet other um, Latina folks. Uh, and hi, I'm, I'm Val, uh, our space Valkyries. Uh, I am biracial Mexican American. Hi, hello. Um, so yeah, my transition is so cute. Thank you. Uh, a friend of mine, Stephen Joyce made them if you would like them. Uh, where is my Steven command? Uh, can one of the mods throw the Steven command in if you would like them? He has them up um, for use for anyone. Uh, if you would like those, especially because Pride is next month. Somehow June is already almost here. <laughs> um, so yeah, feel free to click the drive, the Google Drive link and uh, pick one. I think now there's a few um, transitions up now, but yeah. Um, uh, also, yes, this frog. I don't know. Is this a frog? This little baby. Um, but yeah, so this is Tavern Talk. Much like Coffee Talk, this is going to be a game where we kind of just talk to characters and serve drinks. I don't know if I can use controller. I cannot. We're going to just unplug that for now. Sorry. Bonked thing. We're going to unplug that, move that away for now. Um, where is my... There it is. Uh, let me go to the settings real quick. Okay, I love that it doesn't start at full volume. Thank you, thank you. Um, I've neither heard of either game. Uh, so we are doing um, what's called uh, dem what's called demos. You know what a demo is. We're playing demos from uh, Pluto Nericon. If you are interested in that, it's a, a narrative-heavy game event. There's like a whole Steam page with like demos and sales and stuff like that. So I heartily recommend. You check out all that um, because there's a ton of stuff, a ton of really cool indie games. Um, I really love um, narrative heavy indie games um, like RPGs and stuff like that. So this is really um, the vibe. I saw this was released. Wait, is Tavern Talk like out? Hi, Merc. Can we get a shout out for Mighty Mer, please? How are you doing? I hope your migraine got better. Um, yeah, I am. Um, I saw Brian, uh, aka Urban Bohemian, play this oh, a month or two ago, actually, uh, and I really liked liked it. So when I saw that this was part of the Ludo Nericon setup, I wanted to play it as well. So we are going to play Tavern Talk. I'm just doing it this way so I can... <laughs> Have you ever noticed I high by so I can get a good like frame of the the title menu is so I can uh, crop it easier and like edit it easier in uh, for YouTube videos. I do put up most of my VODs. Some of them I don't, but for things like indie games, I do try to put them up um, so that people can find them. And, you know, especially for demos, if you like the gameplay of it, feel free to check it out. Um, here are the list of games that we are playing today. In case you want to go check those out yourself. Uh, we just got done with After Love EP. We're going to play Tavern Talk for about an hour and then Mermaid, the Mermaid Mask. Maybe Fishbowl if I have energy, <laughs> but we'll see. That might be ambitious. Um, but yeah, so we're, this is kind of the line up, lineup of demos today. If you would like to check that out yourself. All of these demos are publicly available, so feel free to just download a bunch and play them uh, during the event. I think the event ends on Monday. It's May 9th through 13th. Yeah. <laughs> doing that off of my memory <laughs> um but yeah <laughs> so let's play a new game oh hell yes okay game game uh game already love uh we're gonna pick they them hi i'm a, a she they non-binary friend uh anytime they them pronouns are an option i do love to pick them um so yeah let's go Act one, the Wayfarer's in. Okay, let's go. Let's get into it. Hiya, Innkeep. How's it going? All nice and dandy? Can't complain. Oh, okay, that's me. <laughs> I'm Innkeep. Okay, hello. <laughs> How about you, Fable? All nice and dandy? Yes, all nice and dandy. I had such an exciting day. Really, really exciting. Did you go on an adventure? Even better, I took a walk around the grove, then I replanted my mushroom that had fallen over. Then I patiently waited for it to turn into a mushroom monster. Or a mushroom mimic. Give me a gnome. Is that it? No, but I got to take another walk around the grove. How was it? 
great. I got to see the same stones, the same trees. <laughs> okay, so this person likes just a uh, routine. <laughs> Honestly, though, same. I've had people tell me I'm really boring, but I just love like my brain has enough excitement as it is. It's an anxious mess. Um, so I don't necessarily want a life of stimulation. <laughs> I just want routine. I like comfort. I like stability. <laughs> I would love to see the same stones and the same trees a million times because my brain already provides the drama all on its own. It'll come up with a million ways because I'm an anxious mess that I've done something wrong. <laughs> so like it'll, it'll, it, I already got that. I'm good. <laughs> the same amaranthine hydra guarding the entrance to Avalon, the same moss. Okay. Well, you know, sounds very... Exciting? Who am I kidding? My life is as exciting as a dried nut. <laughs> I read that without processing it. Um. How was a dried nut? What is it? I'm like trying not to say all the things coming to mind right now, but it's failing. It's just where we all saw dried nut and we giggled and I just want to acknowledge that. <laughs> also have a good drive, Mer. Uh, <laughs> nut reality is consistently greater than nut expectations in here. I'd say that is, that is, yes. N yeah. Go past Sahana. <laughs> Nuts are healthy, very thrilling in sauces or as a snack. There are various nut types. Walnuts, peanuts, pecan nuts. I'm allergic. Oh, I didn't know that. No, no worries. I mean, I never told you. Um, me with the allergies. Hi, I'm allergic to like everything. It's easier to tell me, tell you what I like am not allergic to than what I am. <laughs> Eating nuts is healthy, they said. I just wish something would happen in my life. Something riveting. So, what you're saying is you're missing the spice? Oh, no, 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 no. I have a very sensitive stomach. I don't think chilies would help me much. I was talking about the spice in your life. Ah, oh, that's what you meant. Well, yes. Yes, exactly. That's it. There's no chili flakes, no garlic, no nymphs, no dragons. Just a lot of salt. I'm like a bland soup. <laughs> Why do I kind of relate to this? Because I can't have a ton of spicy food. My stomach is also incredibly sensitive, which is the sadness of life. I would love to consume all the spicy food in the world, but I cannot. Um, I also just feel like my preferences and things are very like bland. I just, I feel like I feel, I relate to Fable. <laughs> Spice up your life, I was going to say. <laughs> if you are not singing the Spice Girls song, you are not at least a millennial or older. <laughs> a classic case of boredom. I see. Do you know that feeling? When nothing exciting is going on in your life? Like, life isn't bad, but also not particularly funny. Have you tried visiting a circus? Uh, I don't like circuses. Uh, have you tried adding some zest to your soup? Huh? Drama, buzz, excitement, something fiery. Go to the theater or gala, arrive in a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon? Don't they fly up really high? Yes, I think that's the point. Ah, I'm afraid of heights and of people and of actors. I am Fable. Fable is my level of anxiety. <laughs> but apart from that, I'm trying. I tried singing, but what is singing if not the telling of a tale? How can I sing of things if I never lived through anything? So this definitely reminds me of the age old advice that writers get where everyone, the number one thing people tell you is write what you know, which I've always taken as very interesting advice when I write science fiction and fantasy, typically in a secondary world setting, meaning not earth. Um, so wh what do I, how would I know? <laughs> So it's always a very interesting piece of advice. 
I really always think that if you write what you know, or if you, you know, people who are like, well, I can't write about anything if I have never lived. And it's like, you can write about your emotions and everybody lives and does stuff. Like, even if it's not what you would, you personally would think would be interesting, there's things you can still take from even basic experiences. Anyway, that's just a writer tangent, but yeah. <laughs> Moral of the story, you, you can write anything. You don't have to have some, you don't, you don't have to write or you can write anything because you don't have to live some exciting life to be a writer or have a story to worth telling, basically. <laughs> you mean you don't know a dragon personally? I don't. If I did, I would be so happy. <laughs> I love the Fable's design since Legolas have been a sucker for long blonde hair elf types. Yes, Fable is definitely an anxious bard. <laughs> Day in, day out, I live in the same green soup of routineness. Sure, I have my forest and I look after it, but I want to get out there and see something. Like, for example, saving people, wandering through the marshes, meeting a pretty nymph. Uh, that sounds uh, a pretty nymph. That's pretty daring. Of course it is. That's the point. Finding them, enjoying themselves in the water, the sun shining through the treetops, making the stream glisten in fragmented light. Ah, oh, divine beauty. I would love to sing about the exciting, magical things I encounter. But to be honest, the most exciting thing in my life is coming to your tavern and discovering new drinks. Not a lot of songs you can write about that. I wouldn't mind a jingle. I'll think of one. Can I mention nymphs? This person really likes nymphs. <laughs> I'd prefer if you didn't. Karen, hi. Although Lee Pace as Thranduil, yeah, Lee Pace as Thranduil is like forever seared into my psyche. And I think a lot of people who were on Tumblr in like 2015, um, around that era, uh, yeah, Lee Pace as Thranduil is just it. <laughs> Write what you know is good advice for starting writers, but people treat it as a hard and fast rule. Yeah, for sure. Okay, maybe one day I get to offer them their own jingle. In the meantime, can I offer you a drink? Yes, I would love a drink. The usual? Yes, please. That means a sunny breeze in case you forgot. Thank you for the reminder, Fable. Oh, 2010's Tumblr. Yeah, that was an era. It was a time. It's my favorite. It always makes me feel like a feather light nymph floating in the waves of a sunny lake. Yeah, they really like nymphs. Do you want to be with a nymph or be the nymph? <laughs> I was going to say, this is feeling a little... <laughs> Both? Yeah, but mostly I want a sunny breeze. I I really agree with this. Like, Whenever I... And this is how I knew kind of gender was interesting. Whenever I would see like people who were non-binary, I'd be like, oh, I really just think they're neat. And then my brain was like, do you want to be with them or do you want to be them? <laughs> it's like, yes. <laughs> yes to both. <laughs> Message received. Though, though, I was wondering. I've been coming to your tavern for so long and I still don't know anything about how you make your drinks. Could you show me? Yes, tutorial, please give me. Really? Yeah. What do I do? Do I need to put on an apron? Or summon a familiar? <laughs> also, Green Bean Phoenix, welcome back. Or welcome in. <laughs> welcome back. It says returning chatter on my thing, so I said welcome back, but this is the first time you've been in chat today, so hi. <laughs> um, but welcome on in. We are playing Tavern Talk. We're playing some Ludo Nericon demos. Um, I'm going to do the Ludo Nericon command and then the demos command. Sorry, we're just going to throw a bunch of links at y'all. It was much easier to just throw all the links in one command than re repeat it every time. Um, so if you would like to check out Tavern Talk, that's the link. Um, there's also some pretty interesting talks on the fellow traveler uh, YouTube page that I need to I need to catch up on all of them. But there's just a couple of interesting ones. I know that the, a couple of devs, especially like the one who does Citizen Sleeper and stuff, are going to be doing some talks. Uh, and I really just um, the lineup looked really cool, and I need to go back and, and watch them all. <laughs> How do I summon a familiar? Just follow me. Okay. Welcome to my drink mixing nook. So oh, this is what it looks like back here. This is on my demo list of like 25 demos already. And yeah, I've been listening to the talk since yesterday because I'm that person. 
I totally wish I had the time yesterday to just watch it in real time, but thankfully, if you miss them, they're all up on YouTube, so I'm gonna go and listen to them over the weekend, but I'm really, really excited for them because I love listening to game devs like talk about uh, narrative stuff. Also, Green Bean Phoenix, weren't you the one who mentioned, uh, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting their name, but the dev of Citizen Sleeper, the talk that they did for last Ludo Nericon because I, I that was a great, like I watched that. I feel like you gave me that link, but anyway, um, that was a great video. And if you go back to the fellow traveler, uh, YouTube page, there's a ton of stuff from previous, um, years. So like, go enjoy that. It's good knowledge. Um, yeah, it was a great link. Thank you for that. <laughs> that was the reason I found their YouTube page because I, I, they don't link it on their website super intuitively. Um, so thank you for that. Hello, Andu, Andu, Andu. Careful, I haven't fed him yet. Where do we start? Well, usually I start by figuring out what my patrons want, what they really really want. So tell me what you want. <laughs> to make sure I don't forget what they ordered, I take notes in my journal. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, you pinned my order. I did. If I want to look for specifics, I check my detailed notes. I do keep a log, just in case. When I'm sure I know what was asked of me, I browse my recipes. Andu is cute, right? Can't just freehand mix something to see what sticks? No, I like to mix and match for a varied, for a more varied result, but the right balance is crucial, so I stick to my recipes. When I have settled on one, I can use the chalk to draw it on the board, so we're like complicated. What if you pick the wrong one? I can either erase it with the sponge or just pick a different recipe. My ingredients are stored in the five bottles on the right. Okay, what have I said about having ADHD <laughs> and giving me a ton of instructions? Tell me, chat, how much of this do you think I have retained? If you say none of it, you're correct. I am retaining zero of it. <laughs> We're just gonna be messy until, <laughs> until I learn it, but I, I just do not retain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like 1.3% at best, yeah. <laughs> um, but you give me five bottles and I'm already lost. There is dexterity, intelligence, defense, strength, and charisma, so okay, D&D &D stats. I think dexterity sounds the tastiest. I had a feeling you might say that. If I mess up or want to redo my drink for any other reason, I can simply feed my mistakes to Andu! <gasps> The Dargan lizard friend is is our trash can. Like he consumes our mistakes for us. Precious, precious boy. <laughs> Once I'm done, I press the bell to activate the primordial vortex. Actually, I don't need to bore you with the magic details. Just try making a drink. You've got this. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, what does strength taste like? Sentient garbage disposal. We love it. Oh, interesting. It just starts pouring over. I'm sorry. I'm just making weird. <laughs> okay, hold on. How do I know what to make though? I don't... The glass is still empty. Okay. Uh, nope. That's not helping me. I want an Andu. Same. Can I pet Andu? No. Hunter doesn't react to that. Okay. Uh, well, fuck it. I'm just gonna put stuff in. Uh, and this looks pretty. So that's what we got. This is not the right drink. I don't, it has to be a recipe for my handbook. Where's your handbook? <laughs> oh my God. ready <laughs> we, I was just demonstrating how Andu works okay <laughs> what a good boy he's amazing <laughs> yeah the recipe book that's super obvious now that you've said it okay um oh, the last whisper is fun sunny breeze Okay, so if you click draw a recipe, it puts it out there for me. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. 
Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah. I think that's right. Okay. Andu just has a little. <laughs> okay, Andu is the best. I'm just saying. Just pour it straight into Andu's stomach. It need not spend any time near any taste buds. Exactly. Andu's like, ta-da, you did it. Oh. oh, that is cool. Wow, it actually does teleport. Of course. What did you think was happening? I thought you were just very good at sleight of hand. I see. Well, give your creation a taste. That is delicious. I made that? You made that. Thank you for showing me the ropes. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Aw, okay. We've learned how to make drinks and I feel powerful. <laughs> now that I understand what the recipe book is, this is not hard. <laughs> These adventures you dream of, aren't you scared they'd be the end of you? Sometimes. But how would I know if I never tried? So... Oh. I feel like everything I do lately is dragging me because, uh, in a good way, where I have been really, and I've, I mentioned this before, I've been really dealing with my perfectionism and anxiety. Um, I got a, a new therapist and we've been really working on the fact that I, with my creative work and my writing, I keep restarting my writing and stuff because I'm avoiding moving forward because that might mean success or failure. But it could mean failure and like big rejection. And I'm so scared of that with my novel that I don't move forward. Um, but then the thing that always gets me is how will I know if I'm going to be rejected or succeed if I never try? And that's, this it just keeps coming back up as a theme lately. <laughs> um, also Pirate, thank you for that 44, 45 month resub. What do you call 2,204 pounds of posteriors? A button. A button. A button. It's butts. It's lots of butts. That's, that's a lot of booty. <laughs> it's like a leap of faith or something. I don't know. Of the Assassin's Creed and or uh, Spider-Verse variety. <laughs> um, but yeah, Valhalla is what I was thinking of. I watched somebody play Valhalla and I don't remember who. But I have seen people play Valhalla and it definitely is similar to that. Um, you also need to promote that self. That's right. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay, fine. Speaking of Patreon. I do have a new mini, mini space out if you would like to read free uh it's it's a public post um members both free and paid can comment on it which is kind of how i do the middle ground of i don't want to paywall anything but also i don't want random people commenting on my stuff <laughs> um and yes there are also two more dredge videos i am finally finally putting up the vod <laughs> all the way back from halloween of last year um of dredge uh so i apologize for that taking so long it's just been it's been a rough few months um right after that i got the tmj thing i was just yeah um i approve of sneaking into airport lounges to all the snacks yes um but yeah so i have two or i think there's three dredge vods now and one mini space um which, um, so Hannah, I think you were the one I was talking to about Legendborn because I was struggling to read it on my Kindle. And then I, um, got the library book version of it and I absorbed it in one night or two nights. But I stayed up till 2 a.m. the other night. Long and short of it is if you haven't read Legendborn, which is a young adult book, uh, go read it. <laughs> really good. Uh, if you like Arthurian stuff, but like make it just not at all meant for white people <laughs> and it, it's just it's so uh, it's just, i don't want to i don't want to say too much because i don't want us to give spoilers but it's so so good um it was a really good book uh but yeah i want it very badly to be like a movie <laughs> anyway that's not this game this game is tavern talk um but also parrot i hope you're doing good i hope you know i i gave up on trying to get done with rebirth before you so now i just lurk on your rebirth streams <laughs> i will get to play these games eventually i've also um we will talk about this yes because i i need to i need to it's so good um and then i i haven't been playing hades too because i've just i've been so focused on writing and stuff again i've written like ten thousand words this week it's really good like it's a positive busy 
but it's been busy. Uh, so I haven't had a chance to play anything other than like Ludo Naricon stuff and like a little bit of Hades too. Um, but it's just what with what time in the day? Uh, but yeah, how would I know if I never tried? Do you actually want to try? Well, yes, I want to tell great stories, but never mind. Uh -uh. Oh, hello, mysterious rogue. Uh, yeah. How can I help you? A drink. For you? Right. What kind? <laughs> Drinkable. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> what kind of drink do you want? A drinkable drink. Okay, got it. Nailed it. Can do that. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Very specific. Thank you. I am on my way to a fight. Need to pay some debts. Give me something that will boost my defense so I can claim victory. Okay. I'll see what I can find. All right. Defense. Defense. Oh, hold on. There's a recipe book. Um, uh, draw a recipe. No. That is not the recipe. Sponge. <laughs> um, I was thinking about this the other day because my college is still using uh, Blackboard, uh, which is like a, an online course tool thing. And it occurred to me, do kids these days even know what a Blackboard is? Like chalk and like what? <laughs> like I just felt so old. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Uh, oh, okay. We can just look at these uh steel tonic looks probably correct because that's a lot of defense do that blackboard oh my god yeah it is old <laughs> it is um they are finally like segueing to a different one but i'm like man i was using blackboard back when i first went to college in 20 like what was it 2010s yeah, early 2010s. Like, it's been a decade and they're still using that. <laughs> I was really surprised. I was like, ooh, we haven't uh, progressed in learning tools. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm also Mateo. Hi, good to see you. Okay, let's make the steel tonic. I do like that when you hover over it, it highlights. Now that I understand, like, now that my brain parses um, like where things are and how to pick it, it this is not hard. <laughs> I remember my favorite high school teacher would use different color chalk and I don't even know if kids even know what chalk is. I mean, they, I'm sure they know what chalk is like for funsies, like playground fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Is this right? I feel like this is probably right. Nope. Shoot. Hey bud, you want some, uh, Okay, actually, you can just do it this way. Yeah, you can pour a little bit of it out. Uh, I think there's some strength in here, actually. Yeah, and then... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yay! We did it! <laughs> do you think kids play outside? They're all indoors playing Fortnite. Ian, I love you. I say this with all the love in the world. You sound like the oldest fucking boomer when you say that. <laughs> Kids do get outside. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Here you go, bud. Oh, but the okay, but the drinks are so pretty when they're actually like, you know, blended and like the 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 cool little uh, glass comes out. This should taste like victory. Thanks. Almost washes away the memories of the banshee haunting the lonesome lagoon at night. <laughs> what? And her bone shattering song of sorrow. Almost. Enough to kick some ass at least. Rumor songs of bones and water. So song of bones and water is a great young adult uh, book name. Um, I can see it on a bookshelf. All right, the brooding type I see. What are you thinking about, Fable? Nothing, just dreams. 
yours or someone else's. Fine. Other people seem to have the courage to follow theirs. Why can't I be like that? Isn't that up to you? I wish it was. My brother says my dreams are a fool's errand, that I am running away from where I belong. Is that what he said? Yes, he said. We are rangers, Fable. We belong to the woods like the streams that platters down the mountain. We keep the balance. It's what we're meant to do. And is that what you want to do? I have a drink here for an edgelord prime, <laughs> right? Like, this is the most edgy. Yes. No, not really. I want to experience things outside the safe borders of the forest. I want to live a life so full of adventure, boredom will feel like bliss. I want to be brave and strong. And I want to sing songs about my adventures that make other people yearn for the same freedom. Of course, I could never leave the Ashen Grove behind forever. It is my home. But there's nothing wrong with going away from time to time, right? I mean, my family looks after the grove. I think it'd be fine without me. Then you should do what your heart desires. Will it stop aching then? I think so, yes. But what if Destiny never meant for me to leave? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, me and my partner Ian are Ronan, who is again the boomer asking about Fortnite in chat. Uh, <laughs> um, we, there's a rule that we have, which is no what ifs, because I what if so hard that, um, you know, I, I just, I spiral really hard if I go down the what if path too hard. So if I start doing what ifs, like he's, re we're respectful about it, obviously, but it's very like, ah, you what if? Do you need to be what ifing that what if? No? Okay. <laughs> um, so it kind of helps. But yeah, anytime I see a what if, I'm just like, oh, I'm not allowed. The only what if we're allowed is Marvel's what if. <laughs> um, but yes, this, this character, Fable, is definitely born into a ranger family, but wants to be a bard <laughs> for sure. Um, I get the feeling this is very much a... Um, we are playing on the typical Dungeons and Dragons tropes that everyone kind of knows. Um, like bards and rogues and just I, I'm, 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 I'm not mad at it because I understand these tropes and they're fun. So it doesn't require me to understand actual Dungeons and Dragons, which is good because I don't. <laughs> um, but yeah. What if it did? That would be a dream come true. Be your own genie fable. Your adventures start with you. Thank you, innkeeper. You really are the most exciting part of my day. Aw, we dispense good advice, I think. Oh. Hello. No, hold on. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hmm. With whom do I have the pleasure? And the name's Carolyn. I don't know if I'm saying that right. You can call me Care or Lynn. Couldn't care less. Nice to meet you, Care. Lynn, uh, what can I do for you? You do the thing with the quests, right? Y yes. Do you want one? You can have a look at my notice board. Ugh, no. I may have one for you or your notice board. Elaborate? Heard of a werewolf making trouble up in Trigar. Heard of a werewolf making trouble up in Tregarin. A uh, werewolf? That's news to me. Listen, me too. Didn't even see... Didn't see one in almost a decade. And that was far south in Erova. Been wondering if it's the same one. Just moving up like a nomad. I... I thought the werewolf hype died together. I thought the werewolf hype died together with that one romance novel. <laughs> Not that one romance novel. Wait, in this world, is there a werewolf uh, Twilight? Because that a werewolf version of Twilight is fascinating to me. Because, yeah. Um, also, does... I was, I'm not, no, my brain wants to say other things, but it's too cursed. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ugh, you mean the one with the vampire? <laughs> it's totally Twilight. I think so. Nah, that just split the society into two camps. Team werewolf or team vampire? I am both. Which one were you in, Keep? Uh, oh. Okay, but if I had to actually pick one, I was probably team vampire. Even though I do love me a werewolf thing. 
but I do love a broody vampire a little more. So, team vampire. Ah, so you're into the fangs, ain't ya? Ain't ya? Okay, hold on. We gotta give her a southern draw then. Um, yes? Yeah. You've completely dragged me and pointed out my... Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> An innkeeper never tells. <laughs> you little rascal. I like you. Oh, I like you. Likewise. What about you? Vampires. Why? And the wolves are too close to my kin, and yeah. I'd rather stay away from them. Is that the reason why you don't want to take care of the werewolf yourself? I'm, I'm trying to think of what kind of a southern draw I want to give her. I don't think I want to give her too deep of one. But yeah, I like her because she says she has a little bit of like an eight there, but yeah. Yes. No, I'm just afraid he might look a little too familiar to my uncle Dragon. Dragon? Dragon. Would feel bad slaying that fella. You know, hunched back, hairy, crooked teeth. Is it a werewolf or just Uncle Dragon? You couldn't tell. That's me. This is a little. This this is a little ableist. Um, don't don't do this. That's not that's not nice. <laughs> Want to avoid an awkward family reunion, you know? All right. Anything else that might help others get done with it rather swiftly? Fetch. Pardon me. Should they get into a dangerous situation, they'll just have to start playing fetch. That works. On any dog. Trust me. Good to know. Thanks, Care Lynn. It's not that hard. Either Carolyn, Care, or Lynn. <laughs> uh, gotcha, Carolyn. I, Chief, you got a name or is it just Inkeep? Just Inkeep for now. Playing hard to get, I see. Well, and keep then be uh, before then before I venture on. You've got a drink for me, of course. What would you like? I'll take something powerful, something with a whole lot of strength. Okay, and don't you dare give me any of that watered down muck instead. Okay, the the accent got bigger. Oh, the southern accent got bigger in the the actual text. The longer I, the longer she went. <laughs> uh, so she really wants strength. That would be probably Sailor's Courage. A lot of strength, quick quick reflexes, a shot of defense, and the inability to know fear. Um, yeah, because otherwise the Frosted Lagoon is mostly... It's got strength, but not as much. Mm, yeah, I think that's the only one. Alright. Uh... Draw that or that. Okay. Um, a little bit of defense. And then a little bit of speed. Hey, I did it. Okay. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> A drink with zero water, as requested. Hey, that looks really cool with the abs, though. Not bad. Just what I was craving. Thanks. Where will you head from here? Abs back north through the Ashen Grove. Got some business to clean up. What kind of business? My cousin claims her crops are being stolen by undead snails. <laughs> undead what? <laughs> what does an undead snail look like? Hold on. <laughs> Interesting. I'd say she's hallucinating, but I did hear some folks complaining about an undead uptake up north, so... Might as well humor her. It's odd, ain't it? Resurrecting the dead. I think there's not much use digging up the past. The past haunts everyone willing to listen. Hm, that's deep. Hm. Would you mind talking like a normal person? No. Then don't bother. This is my tavern. And I'm leaving it. If you find any more rumors or need aid, don't shy away from coming back. I'm more of a lone wolf. Don't do groups. But sure, I'll be back for more work. I'll be waiting. Speaking of rumors, you know how to turn them into proper quests, right? No, of course I don't. 
Don't want them to go to waste. Uh, I could use some help, yes. Fine, I guess I've got a few minutes. Let me see your setup. Uh, this is where I sort all the rumors I've collected. I also keep them written down in my journal so I don't forget. Smart. I think the best next step would be your sorting the fit and snippets into your quest page. Just drag them over and make sure they're all for the same quests. Otherwise, you'll end up confusing adventurers. Once you're done, select that quill of yours and it'll be written up. Got it? Got it. I don't got it. Thank you for your help. Put it on my tab. That's not how that works. Good night to you too. Alright, time to assemble a quest. Uh... Banshee is haunting the lonesome lagoon, wailing a song that will shatter your bones. Hopefully a rhetorical device. Uh, um, I like the cool S. <laughs> the cool S, I know. I was like, the cool S is great, actually. I love, I love that. This is how I absolutely, like, draw random little like I can't draw for shit but I can draw a cool s and a little undo <laughs> so this is accurate to me I love it um no okay that doesn't work oh okay um a werewolf secret hold on hold on uh the bull Vuka Ken Carolyn told me about a werewolf who was roaming around Tark Trigarin Potential threats of villagers. Werewolf has been previously seen in Ereva. And then the werewolf secret. And then we do that. Oh, we're so good at drawing. Okay, reticent Vukin passed by the Wayfarers in reporting a werewolf making their way to Trigarin from Ereva. It pose a potential threat, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Hey, Atrocics, hi. How do I not have a cool yes emote from someone? <laughs> Honestly, though. Feed Andu. Good boy. Okay, so we need three scraps of information about any given quest. Okay, so I think just to preserve my voice, <laughs> we're probably going to stop this one here. And also, um, uh, I think that probably it gives you a kind of a good understanding. We had to serve three drinks. There's quests. There's a lot of it's mostly just character interaction. You run this very cute in. Um, so I think this is a good kind of um, demonstration for, of Tavern Talk. I think this is a good spot to stop. Uh, just because, I, again, this is a lot of reading. I'm trying to be good to my voice. And we still have one other demo. Well, two other demos if I can get to Fishbowl. Um, but yeah, so I think this is a good place to stop this. Uh, this does remind me of Coffee Talk, but make it a little more uh, Dungeons and Dragons-y. Uh, and make them like drinks instead of coffee or like, I, I guess they're not alcoholic drinks, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so I hope you like it. Uh, I'm going to put the demos command one more time. It's the, the third link on that list of links. Um, but again, all of these are available. So if you're curious to play this even further, um, you can, uh, do that on your own. And I'm probably going to play more of this off stream because I really like it. But it is a lot of narration, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be good to my voice and just uh, call it good here. So yeah, uh, and then we'll do a quick BRB. So don't forget to stretch, hydrate, take your meds, all that good good stuff. When we get back, we're gonna play the mermaid mask, and it'll be very fun. But yeah, I think I'll leave the the bard music up while we BRB because I think that'll be kind of funny. But yeah, be right back. <laughs> 